Um, we're certainly uh, at DPI very excited to uh, be uh, partners for CO2 Cubes Visualize a Ton of Change. It's one of the activities that we will be supporting in uh, Copenhagen. As its name implies, and I think you have a little bit of background information that has been distributed, the CO2 Cubes is a, a giant digital multimedia art installation that intends to show what one metric ton of carbon dioxide uh, actually looks like. We're talking a lot about uh, CO2 emissions and we hope that the CO2 cube will help you, uh, help everyone visualize what it actually looks like. Um, in our efforts, of course, we work uh, at the UN first and foremost with uh, governments, that is uh, our role and our mandate, but we also are trying to work in a variety of ways with uh, uh, various partners, including, of course, partners in, in civil society. Uh, we have been able to underline in recent activities that civil society plays a, a key role uh, in supporting uh, efforts and our efforts and allows us to engage in initiatives that we probably would not be able to engage on uh, otherwise. And the CO2 cube is certainly uh, a case in point. So uh, We're really excited to tell you about the CO2 cubes visualize a ton of change exhibit today. This show is essentially about bringing together artists, architects, scientists, and technologists to design an installation that will help open the minds of people around the world um, using art, which is essentially the universal language. And uh, it's, it's kind of a two-fold project. One, it's the sculptural side, which it is, a, um, as Keo had mentioned, a three-story installation. It's actually 27 feet by 27 feet uh, by 27 feet or 8.2 meters cubed. And uh, this is um, at the literal scale of one metric ton of carbon dioxide it, it, as if imagined in a cube shape as we know it's gaseous. And one of the uh, challenges is that carbon dioxide emissions are invisible to the human eye. And when you can't see the problem, many times, um, you know, there has to be vehicles to connect people, and art actually could evoke emotion and elicit some type of response. And that's, that's uh, our goal in terms of just demonstrating the sheer scale of this. Um, on a side note, to, to just further the impact is one, um, in, in the uh, industrialized countries, the average person emits one ton of CO2 per month, and here in the U.S., it's two tons per month. So when people um, hear that fact and, and see the size, um, it, it actually has an impact, because many people think maybe one ton per year. <laughs> so um, that is um, one of the goals in terms of the, the sculptural side of the installation. And then we also um, w are working with our partners at Obscura Digital to design a climate change story linked with carbon dioxide to help people further understand the message. And this will actually pr be projected um, using, you know, high technology onto the cube. And it'll be a series of shows that show, you know, kind of the story of the cube, um, many facts, uh, I you know, and interpreting science into a more artistic abstract side of things. Um, and also showing some of the impacts of CO2 emissions as well as some of the solutions of what we could do to reduce our carbon footprint.